Hi guys, welcome to Plain and Simple. I know that I have been absent lately and I hope that you can forgive me for that. I began a new role at work and I was feeling very overwhelmed coming home, trying to get everything done and just feeling really exhausted. And like I was failing at like everything. So, except for work and when I would think about doing a video or making a video, I just became even more overwhelmed. So I thought, you know what, let me just take a step back and figure out my new way of life right now so that I can incorporate this back in my life and adjust it back in so that I am not feeling overwhelmed. So I hope you guys can understand that. But I really thought it was important to check in with you during this time to say hi, see how everyone's doing, how everyone's feeling, and just talk to you about, you know, how I'm feeling and what I'm doing to relieve my stress and worry. Um, this is a really strange and uh, just bizarre time. I never thought something like this would happen and I can't believe it's happening. I almost feel like I'm in a bit of shock. I don't know about you guys feeling that way. Um, but it's important that we heed the warnings and that we stay in and keep each other safe and do what you know everyone is saying um, to be safe and help each other out. So I hope that you all are doing that and staying safe and healthy. Um, I am currently on day 10 of being at home um, and it's going okay. I just feel like I've wanted to do some things to, you know, make sure that my day incorporated some stress relief or some me time because it is difficult being in a house with um, your family all the time, 24 hours a day. Um, it doesn't mean you don't love your family. It doesn't mean that, you know, you don't want to spend time with them. It just means that, you know, everyone love and desire and needs space, you know, it needs space to, to grow. And, um, you know, if you're a homeschooling mom and you're working full time and you're trying to work from home, that's completely, it's just almost impossible. Um, I, I do have a teenager, thankfully, so he is a little bit more self-sufficient when it comes to his work. However, he still needs to be checked up on. Um, and, you know, a lot of times after his homework, he's on Xbox. And during my work week and I feel really bad about that and I don't know if you guys are struggling with that as well but um, it is what it is for now I'm hoping that you know the sooner that we can all stay home and and you know get this under control the sooner we can go back to normal um, and you know those of you who are just maybe not working full-time but are homeschooling full-time and you've got several children and several assignments and you know it's beyond stressful, I can't even imagine what working, not working, whatever it is, just having to deal with that um, is, is very stressful and it's very important for taking time for self-care. Or if you're just home alone or just maybe you, you have a significant other or maybe you don't, maybe you're home alone. That is unbelievably stressful too. I, I mean, there's so many <laughs> different avenues here that you can go down that everyone feels stressed no matter what situation they're in and every single day I've been trying to take an hour for myself and I know that that might be difficult under your circumstances but if you can find an hour let's say after the school day or work day of your, for yourself and you are done getting dinner on the table and maybe you can hand the, the children duties over to your spouse or um, if you know, if you have some support from a, another loved one, or you know, if you don't, if you're a single parent, maybe just put your kids in front of a television for an hour or show and give yourself that time to you know take care of yourself. Um, that's what I've been doing uh, about 6:30 to 7:30 or 7 to 8. I'm like, okay, I'm taking my hour. I go upstairs and I take a shower and um, I found this really great lotion I've been loving. I was watching Dr. Dre several weeks ago and I was, she had talked about a lotion that was really good for like dry skin and like roughness. And I have that on my legs. I don't know if any of you guys have this, but it almost feels like, like I look at it, it's almost shiny. Look, I have scales. 
So I've been trying out um, this lotion, this Eucrine Roughness Relief. Um, so after my shower, I put this on my legs, and it really has helped. I really love it. Uh, Dr. Dre is great about recommending things. So this has been great. I, I ordered it off Amazon. I will link everything below. Um, and then she also recommended this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. And I love this too. I use this on my upper body. She said you can use this on your face as well. I haven't done that because I do have a Hyaluronic Acid I love that I'll share with you. Um, so just, you know, take the time to get out of the shower and like put my lotion on and then I wash my face and I use, um, if you've seen my favorite products video, you know I love the Hada Labo Cleansing Oil. I use this, it helps take off my makeup. I'm not wearing any makeup lately except for today. I could put my makeup on just for you. Um, but yeah, this does take off your makeup as well. Um, you know, I also use like an Elboline sometimes to take off my makeup if I have a lot more on. You know, cleanse first with the cleansing oil. And then I use this um, hydrating facial cleanser from CeraVe. I am not sponsored by CeraVe. I don't have any sponsors, that's silly. Um, but I love CeraVe products there. They just work fabulous for my skin. Um, this is beautiful. It's very moisturizing. You know, no fragrance, anything and anything if that bothers your skin. I just have really dry skin. I just feel like these products work best for me. So I'll do that and then I will I'll put some like healing ointment on my lips. Um, I love this. I have a lip gloss on right now, but I'll, I just put a lot. I love this. It's, it's so hydrating, moisturizing, smooth. Um, it's just like Vaseline, but better. It's got better ingredients. And I'll put this on my lips, and then I will put it on my feet, um, put some socks on, like a foot mask, and, you know, put some PJs on, and then, you know, I'm, then I'm ready to go down and be with my family again. Um, and then maybe we'll get together and we'll watch a show, a Netflix show. Um, some of the Netflix shows we've been watching that I love are Schitt's Creek, that's really funny, um, Kim's Convenience, Good Girls. I would love to hear you guys uh, what you've been watching and what you are loving. So I'd love some new shows I can add to the mix. Um, just to stress, laugh, watch a show together, hang out until, you know, work work week. I have to be, I have to go to bed by 10 and on the weekends we stay up a little later. Um, so we'll do that at night. And speaking of PJs, that's another thing I ordered a PJ set from Target, I don't know, it was about a week or so ago. Um, just got it, so I was like, oh, this is perfect. I can, I can wear my PJs. Uh, I just wanted a new pair because I, you know, I'm rotating through the same ones and I'm like, oh, I think I need a new pair of pajamas. Make me feel, I don't know, normal. Something I can continue to wear. I don't think this is gonna be ending anytime soon. So this is something to make me feel good. Um, yeah, so this was, I ordered this, it's like a little sweatshirt, I got it in the medium, and I got the little pants to match, um, I got the pants in a size small, and I'm usually a size 4, and the top in a medium, and I'm usually a medium, really comfy, and I love the spring color, um, so that's a nice thing you can do for yourself, go on Amazon or Target and order yourself a pair of comfy PJs or two. Um, I painted my nails a really bright color. I went in my cupboard and I'm like, what's the brightest color I have? Um, I'll link the, this color below. Painted my toes, took that time to do that and just, you know, just so I can feel bright and, you know, something. Um, but at night, um, what, what I do use to, after I wash my face, I, I put on my, my hyaluronic acid from Hala Lava. I love this and if you've seen my favorite products video, I've mentioned this before. It has urea in it, Dr. Dre recommended. It's really great for dry skin patches, which I do have on my skin because I use the tretinoin or Retin-A about once a week and I always get dry patches. But if I don't use that and I'm using this, I don't have dry patches at all. And then after that, I just coat my face in this like mask of the CeraVe moisturizing cream. I actually bought this um, with the pump originally and then I just keep buying the the other, the, just the plain without the pump, because it's more expensive to buy the pump, so I just buy it and then just take the top off and, and reuse it. 
I put this on like it's a mask. Like I literally cake it on. It's like it's like a mask. And you know, then I go downstairs and I'm ready to be with my family. And then before I go to bed, I will put on this CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream. I really like this a lot. It's it, you know, it doesn't have the same consistency as the moisturizing cream. It, it's definitely like drier, but I do like it. I like the consistency of it. I feel like I wake up in the morning and my skin's nice and smooth. Um, let's see, what else do I do? So in the morning, like I said, I wash my face. I don't wash my face. I wet my face, put my hyaluronic acid on, and then depending on if I'm gonna wear makeup or not, I'll put this on if I wear makeup. Um, it's just great under makeup. It's got, it has no sunscreen in it, so then I follow up with my Elta MD UV Sport for sunscreen. And then, you know, lately I, have, I haven't been putting on makeup or anything, so I've just been putting on this Milani Soft Focus Glow. It's just so pretty. I actually have it under my makeup. I don't know if you can tell if, you know, I have a little glowiness. It's just so pretty and it, it's such a nice sheen to go on your face. It just gives a, I don't know, I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand, see if you can see that. Just a nice sheen, if that is even showing up at all. It's just such a pretty glow and it just makes me feel like, I don't know, because I just have some life in my skin. This has been, Compared to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter or something like that, I have not tried that one, so I can't tell you whether or not it's true, but this is beautiful and it's like $10, so I think I'll stick with that. I think the other one's pretty expensive. Um, another thing I've been doing for self-care is taking a bubble bath. Um, some of the stuff I put in my bath is, I like this one, it's very revitalizing, the Eucalyptus and Spearmint. And this is from Target, Up and Up brand. Um, this is so inexpensive. You get a huge bag. And I'll also add some some like magnesium mix and salts. There are so many different ones that Dr. Teals makes. He makes like, uh, like radiance glow or sleep or for muscles and whatever. So I think there's just so many different ones you can choose from to add to your bag. What might work best for you. Um, and then I will sometimes add this Indian healing clay. Um, it's for detoxification. It's, it's hundred percent bentonite clay. And I think you can also use this as a face mask. I think I have done that in the past. I don't have like a lot of pore issues and I think that's what it's for. So I don't, I don't really use that much, but it was fine to use that. But when you put it in your bath and sometimes it gets clumpy, it's, it's almost like clay. Um, like mud and you like rub it on you like you're taking a mud bath but it, you know all these things it just helps you know calm and soothe and detoxify your de-stress from the day um, other than that let's see what else do I do so during the day we always have music on um, during the day I'll put some CNN on and just to kind of check in to see what's going on there but we always have music playing um, that's really nice we'll try to do anything outside uh, I know it's been day 10 only, um, so it really isn't that long, but I feel like if I keep my routine and I keep doing my self-care and de-stressing and finding different things to do, um, play video games with my son or, you know, do a puzzle or draw, um, I don't draw, but maybe I'll start. Um, I don't really read, I really don't read, this is a good time to read, my mom just sent me a really great book probably should start reading. Um, I just find myself doing other stuff around the house. Uh, we'll take the dogs for a walk. Um, we will, there are the tennis courts up, up by us. We might actually might walk over there and, and use that. Maybe tomorrow, that would be great. Ride our bikes. Uh, let me know what you're doing at home. You might spark an idea for me. Um, but I just think it's so important for us to, you know, take that time for ourselves. It's you know, it's very scary. We have our, our parents, some of our parents are elderly or in their 60s. Um, we have, some of us might be immune compromised or have kids who are. So this is, it's very scary and it's important for us to heed all the warnings. I would really like to hear, you know, what's going on where you are, uh, how you guys are dealing with it, what your, you know, laws are or what, 
what they're putting in place for you. Right now we are like shelter in place where we're really only supposed to go out if we need necessities. Um, everything's closed, all the restaurants, everything. I actually called, I was thinking about getting some takeout and they were closed. So, um, I mean, I'm, I'm happy for that. I'm, I'm glad that they are taking this seriously. Let me know if you um, want me to do another video. We can, you know, just play with makeup or something. Just something for us to do together. Um, I just would love to hear from you and see, you know, how you're doing. I hope this was helpful. I hope that, you know, you probably have a lot of some of the stuff in your house already. And you just take that time to utilize it and take care of yourself. Um, being a mom, a wife, a friend. Uh, you know, a daughter is in this situation, like I said, no matter what, you, everyone has a situation, everyone has something, and, and I just want you all to be healthy and safe, and I, let me know in the comments what you like to see me do, or what you like to do, and if you have anything to say, and want to talk about anything at all, I'm here for you, um, thank you for joining me today, I appreciate it, and I will see you soon, bye.